What's up, everybody? David with you from FaithfullyBearded.com. I hope all is going well in your world. I hope your silver, gray, salt and pepper, chrome, platinum, salt and cayenne, whatever the combination is, I hope your beard's looking great and I hope you are as well. We've been going down this path talking about stuff that's good for gray beards. I wanna thank you guys for coming back to the channel to see another one of these videos. We're gonna go on a trip. I'm gonna show you guys the oil I'm gonna focus on and see if you can guess it before I tell you what it is. Just a little hint, that wasn't it in the intro. But let's take a look at some pictures. I wanna show you guys just some real quick clips about how this oil is made and where it comes from. That was a really beautiful place called Morocco. We are gonna be talking about argan oil. Argan oil comes from the fruit that grows on the tree, the argan tree, which totally makes sense, right? Grown a lot of places in Morocco, sourced from Morocco, and sent over here for us to put it in our beards, among many other things. So you're probably asking yourself, Dave, why is argan oil so good for my beard? I'm really glad you asked that question. I could go into a long discussion about oleic acid, linoleic acid, phenolic acid, all the stuff that's in there, tocopherol, just to name a few, which is a big thing in vitamin E. And of course you see that in a ton of beard products. But really what I wanna focus on is why the gray beard. So I don't know about you guys, but when my beard started getting gray, it started getting really coarse. And one of the main things I hate the most is when my beard dries up. It gets crunchy, it feels like straw, it looks horrible, you can't do anything with it. I went down that road. Or maybe you're a new beardsman and your beard is drying your face out so bad that it's driving you nuts. First off, I would find myself a good video on beard itch, but argan oil does help for that as well. Because of its heavy moisturizing properties that it has, it's used for so many things. I read an article today about how just straight argan oil can take away beard roof. Now, I didn't do the scientific testing on that. I don't know whether it's true or not, but I read it on the internet and somebody told me if it was there, it had to be true. So argan is also used as a styling agent because of its natural properties that defrizz hair, make it lay down a little bit better, style a little bit easier, and it's got a pretty sweet shine to it. I didn't even mention anti-inflammatory, other skin disorders that are treated with argan oil because really we're focused on beard stuff, right? Now there's argan oil, argan oil, whatever way. It's in face stuff, it's in soap, it's in shampoo. It's been used for many, many years to treat all the stuff I already talked about. So I wanna know. Have you guys used argan oil? Do you use it frequently? Do you look for oils that have argan in it? Because there is a ton out there. But let me know in the comments, what's going on? What do you think? How do you feel about it? Would you use it? I'm actually debating getting a bottle of pure argan oil to throw in my beard just to see the results. And I can't wait to share them with you guys. So we've talked about argan. We talked about some of the stuff that it does. We talked about some of the stuff that's in it. But now let's bring it into the beard community with a couple of beard oils that have argan. They're not completely argan heavy. One is, one's down the line a little bit. Both great oils, both work great. So the first one is this right here. This is Live Bearded's oil. This one happens to be in the wingman scent, but we're not here to discuss scents. We're here to talk about oils and argan oil is listed as the first thing in this oil itself. Now, I don't know if you guys have tried Live Bearded or not. They're one of the larger companies, pretty easy to recognize. I'd even bet that their website's probably livebearded.com. And if you look down at the description, you'll probably find some sort of code to give you some money off. I like this oil a lot. I like the way it feels in my beard. I've been wearing it specifically this week because argan is the first thing in it. And I think it works really well. It keeps my beard soft and manageable, makes it shiny, doesn't feel greasy. That's another thing that I've noticed about argan oil is that if I leave it on my hands for just maybe a minute or so, it soaks in really fast. So that lets me know that it's doing it in the skin under my beard as well. 
The other one, also a huge company in my opinion, I don't know what you guys think of this, Old Defined Beard Co. Funny enough, that's their website too, definedbeardco.com. Carrie out there in Buda, Texas has done an excellent job brewing this and I am so grateful that he used argan oil in the blend. This is the Distinguished Caballero, which I always hear it three different ways, but that's the way I'm gonna pronounce it. And another one I've really, really been enjoying. Slide over to definedbeardco.com and check out this scent profile and everything else that they have. If this is your first time watching one of these videos, I'm grateful that you made your way over to the channel. I hope you'll also go check out faithfullybearded.com or maybe just go back through all the other videos on the channel and check out that content as well. I have a thought. I want you guys to tell me your opinion. We've talked about oils and briefly talked about butters, but I think it's time. It's time we do a gray beard butter video. Not like a top five, not like a top 20. I'm talking a top three. Top three beard butters that work best in my gray beard. If that's something you guys think would be pretty cool to do, let me know in the comments and I will make it happen. I know a lot of you guys have grabbed the purple shampoo. I know we've talked a lot about specific oils for gray beards. And all I can tell you guys is keep your ear to the ground because you never know what's going to happen. As always, I'm grateful for each and every one of you. I'm thankful for each and every one of our subscribers and the subscribers that will come after you guys. I hope you guys keep coming back because the Gray Series is only beginning. Until I see you guys again, be awesome to each other. Thank you for watching this video from Faithfully Bearded. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up, click the bell and turn on all notifications so you're notified of all new content. You can also become a member of the channel and get perks for the tiers that you join. You can share this out with your friends and help the channel grow. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and at faithfullybearded.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.